Hey, YouTube fans, people of the internet, it's me, someone SG1, coming at ya for yet another Star Trek official Starships collection. This is number 13. Um, the Jem'Hadar Battle Cruiser. Yeah. Um, uh, as people know, I love the Dominion. The Jem'Hadar specifications. Operated by the Dominion type heavy cruiser. Length 639.75 metres. So just shown a galaxy. Um, top speed 9.6 observed. Crew 2,500 approximately. Weaponry 6 polar and beam emitters. Torpedo launchers. Breen energy dampening weapon. The later ones had that. Um, again, going into the history of the ship itself. Lovely CG render. Same one from the front cover. But it's lovely CG render there. Uh, like I say, it's going through um, the various, you know, the ships, saying it's got no crew quarters or anything like that. Then we've got a nice CG render of the um, part in Sacrifice of Angels. Now, in the Sacrifice of Angels, the Dominion, the Federation have to stop the Dominion from reopening the wormhole because they previously mined it. And the last, and the, the end of season five, where the war pretty much starts. A few months have gone past, and the Dominion on the station are still trying to take down the minefield. Anyway, they just managed to succeed in this, this episode, so they can bring reinforcements from the Gamma Quadrant. Now, these ships have been waiting patiently inside the wormhole for some time. So, the Defiant flies through, and Cisco says to the Prophets that, you know, they must be sorted, you know, please help us out. So what the Prophets decide to do is, Remove them, and they, you see them disappear. But in Star Trek Online, they didn't just dis make them d disappear; they changed them from time because inside the wormhole, time does not exist in a linear sense. So you could pretty much go anywhere, any time, and they, you know, disappeared them till sixty years into the future, and then they reappeared, st streaming out the wormhole, and immediately attacked Deep Space Nine. Um, it's quite a good mission, actually. It's the 4400, it's called. Um, is it the 4400? Yeah, something like that. And it's pretty cool, actually. Um, yeah, so there. I'm showing you that, you know, the ships are in battle, ready for battle with the Federation, and then they're shooting at the Deep Space Nine, and you've got Gold uh, Demar, Gold Cart, and Wayoon. And you've got Wayoon. Um, yeah. Again, go through the history of it, and then we've got the tech specs of the Gemini washer. Now that's an underside shot of the ship, and then you've got the side view there. Do you know, as much as I love the, this, this section of the book, I'd wish they'd keep them consistent. I've said this a few times, I wish they'd keep them top down, side down, and if there's room, underside, you know, front and back. Top and side is really what they should be keeping at. But I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still fucking awesome. Now, in, in this one, like in most of the alien um, uh, ship ones, we get a little history of the race itself. In this case, the Dominion. Rather than not being a race, but more like, more like an anti-federation. And I kind of like that. Yeah, and it's showing you, you know, showing you the difference between the Jem'Hadar, the, you know... The founders, the the Vorta. Um Yeah, it's going into more history there of how the how the Dominion operates and things like that, which is you know really cool. I like that. Uh, and then we've got designing the Gemini warship. Now I've seen some of these before on the Deep Space Nine extras, but it's just nice to have this section. I do like. I really do like this section. Um, like a really cool looking ship there. That, I, I like that. Now Eagle Moss, if you're listening, you're probably not. As some of the specials, I would like to see some of these as models. Now that would be cool. Some of the design ships would be fucking cool. As some specials. You'd have to do two or three of them maybe. But that I would like to see that. That would be cool. Uh, yeah, then we've got you know, the actual design of it there, and then we've got like a pre-design of it there, which I really do like that as well. Again, you know, a model of this would be cool, please, instead of the J.J. Abrams shit. But I'm not getting into that right now. 
Um, yeah, then we've got on screen. First appearance in Purgatory Shadow, TV appearances on Deep Space Nine, and, and it says here Voyager, but I don't remember them being on Voyager at all. Um, designed by John Eaves. And of course, key, key uh, appearances, Purgatory Shadow, Call to Arms. And there we go. Yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. Still loving the books, loving the magazines, still nice little um, insights into the ships and stuff. Keep them coming. And now we come to this bad boy. Now here we are, the Jemadar Battle Cruiser. Look at this bad boy. Yeah, look at it. It is fucking awesome. Again, this is another ship you never ever see in a model. I believe the um Oh what are they called? Graves is falling down. These fucking things. Hero clicks, there we go. Hero clicks, this is the only one I've got. Are doing the Gemini ships, but they're nowhere near as nice as this. This is lovely. Um, like I said, they're doing Gemini ships, but you never really ever see, you know, model uh, a model like this. This is truly, 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 truly awesome. I like it a lot. I love the big cargo pod on the bottom, which is pretty cool. But yeah, this is just just immense. It really is. I mean, you get all the your eventual impellers at the top there, your big fuck off impulse engine at the back there. Just the colour scheme as well. People are complaining about the colour scheme, but this is this is accurate to the how it is on screen. It just seems a little bit more purple. But I mean they've got the purple in there and the bottom there. They've got I like the copper coated at the front. It's a nice contrast from the stack sort of blue grey we're getting with the Federation ships. It's a nice stark contrast, yeah, so I like it, I like it, I like it. I may get two or three of these, because these are gorgeous. I do like the Gemini warships a lot. This is, like I said, this is, I mean, out of all the alien ships I've done so far, one, two, three, four, five, five alien ships, and one, two, three, four, yeah, five alien ships, not, in count, not counting the Borg ship. Alien ships, one, two, three, four, five, six. And eight Federation ships so far. Eight. eight Starfleet ships so far. I think this is the nicest one. Um, it's just lovely to see. It really is nice to see. Um, but I mean, the detail on it is just immense. I really do like this one a lot. And I love that, like I said, the copper coated on the nacelles and things like that. I mean, uh, but yeah, I mean, it'd be nice to have the, these, you know, in purple, because they glow purple. But, you know, it, you can't have everything. But yeah, I, I just love it. I've, I've really do. I think this is the best alien ship they've done so far, because it is, you know, one of those ships you never, ever, ever see at all. I mean, the Johnny Lightning, a few years ago, did Heroes of Star Trek, and they did usual ships, and the original Enterprise... Battle Damaged Enterprise, Refit Enterprise, Enterprise A, um, Enterprise D, they did the Future Enterprise as well, uh, Voyager, uh, Klingon Bird of Prey, a Klingon Bird of Prey cloaked, Klingon Battle Cruiser cloaked, Klingon, uh, a Romulan Battle Cruiser, Romulan Bird of Prey, Romulan Bird of Prey cloaking, because it was like a clear, it was like a, oh, a translucent one, and then a clear one, which was a cloaked one. Uh, I think Type F shuttle, um, and then they did, then they did, sort of battle damaged ones, and then they did a few renamed ones. So like, you you got a few Constitution class ships. You got the Defiant um, one seven six four. You got the Odyssey, I think. Uh, well, anyway, they renamed a few of the a few of the ships, but you didn't get um, anything else really in that that line. Oh, you got Borg Cube as well. Um, you didn't really get anything else. Oh, NX-01 as well, and the, and the Mirror Universe NX-01, but no Defiant, no Deep Space Nine, certainly no Jemadar warships, so I'm so, so chuffed, so happy that I own a physical model of a Jemadar battlecruiser. So, yeah, um, next week's Cardassian, Cardassian Galore. I'm hoping we get a Keldon class as well, that'd be nice. Golden class I've only ever seen in three episodes, and all season three of Deep Space Nine. Anyway, as per usual, you get the stand, and then you get, on the side, you get 
Gemidar, uh, it's a Gemidar attack cruiser. Hmm. Battle cruiser everywhere else. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Gemidar attack cruiser. Hmm. But this one fits on the stand rather nicely. It just fits all in there, and there it is on its stand, looking imposing as a bastard. But yes, I am happy at the moment. Sort of, I nearly cancelled my subscription a while back. You know, particularly after I got the Excelsior, I was not particularly impressed with that one. After Reliant, they seem to have got better. I'm just looking at them now. Um, I do need somewhere better to. To store them. So anyway, that's me. That's the Gemini Battle Cruiser and Victory is Life. Now where? Obedience means victory and victory is life. <laughs>